Good morning. It is Saturday, June 3rd, I believe. Uh, probably about 6.15 in the morning. I woke up a little bit ago, but just kind of laid around. Uh, I had a good meal last night. Rice and chicken. Bit of whiskey. Wash it down in a protein bar. Had a little fire. Practice harmonica a bit. Today, I'm going to see if I can find a place to park my truck. I'm going to get all of my gear ready. I went grocery shopping yesterday. Lightweight grocery shopping, like uh, stuff that I can bring on my bike. I think I'm going to just load everything up on my bike and, and actually start. I might go to the Tofty Ranger District and kind of ask them for ask them for help plotting out a course of like 40-ish plus or minus 10 miles a day increments so that I can kind of hop up a, the Gunflint essentially. I, I think it changes Ranger Districts to the Gunflint Ranger District. I think that's what it's called. Uh, but they should still have info for me to like where to camp, where there's free rustic campsites. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I could do dispersed camping where I just kind of bushwhack it into the woods and find a spot. Uh, but with my bike, that's not that doesn't sound particularly appealing to me right now. So I'm gonna try to just go from free campsite to free campsite until I get up to the end of the gun flint and then go to an outfitters and see if I can't rent a canoe for a few nights and, and then maybe do some fishing on this trip, try to learn how to fish, fly fish. I've got all the stuff that I need. So we shall see, but it looks like I'm pretty sure today I'm just going to start the journey. Alright, this morning it is going to be oatmeal. And... Some protein powder and peanut butter powder. Yeah, that's probably a little too much.
All right, here it is all loaded up. It is very heavy, but since I'm also doing a Boundary Waters trip in one go, I brought some extra stuff that I probably wouldn't if I was just planning on my first bike packing trip. So anyway, let's hop on and let's get going. First stop is gonna be the Ranger District so that I can fill up with water. And then we're gonna go up to Britain Peak and then up to uh, camp for the night. All right, we're starting out on the Gitchigami Trail. Bike's feeling heavy, but manageable. I was worried that when I had every single thing that I needed on here, it would, I don't know, fall apart or something would go wrong. It hasn't yet knock on wood but I guess it wouldn't be an adventure unless something did go wrong like I said first things first go fill up on water before we dive into the woods River State Forest State Park. And these are the Temperance Falls, I believe. Very cool. Little bridge here. All right, top back on. Starting out with a climb up the sawbill. I stopped Sawtooth Outfitters because I heard a, a crunching on my wheel and I was worried just because I don't have the mechanic skill necessary for what I'm doing probably. Um, I was worried the spoke was loose or something but uh, the guy said it was fine I could probably make it to where I'm going but I should know how to tighten those spokes up anyway they were a little loose and the clicking could have been just them rubbing on each other from the load that I've got on it but uh, just the way this trip's been going so far. I didn't want to leave anything to chance. Anyway, on to it now, the top of a hill. Just made it past Britain Peak. I'm not sure if I've ever actually been up the sawbill this far. It's not really that far, it's just kind of at the beginning. That was a lot slower going up that than I thought, but we're just cruising. No need to be anywhere. Just enjoying the view.
off the sawville now and we were we were headed to Poplar River Rustic Campsite. This right here is what I've been waiting for. Dirt roads, forest. So pretty much immediately upon entering the woods, I was swarmed. Everyone that I've talked to that lives up here, people at stores, some of my buddies, say the bugs are bad this year. I invested in this bug shirt and I already immediately loved it. It's a little warm for bike riding but because it's got these breathable like underarm things it's better than uh, a sweltering hoodie which I, would be my alternative right now so this is a good purchase but I got it Going to update you. Got a black bear. Look like a little guy. Hope that wasn't a cub. Hey, bear! My brakes screeched. And it perked up. It was just chilling kind of in that tall grass on the side of the road there. Whew. Can't believe I've already seen a bear. Day one. It's fucking awesome. I'm going to keep making noise for a few minutes. <clears throat> just in case. Hey, bear. Go on now, get Get out of here. Hey, bit. All right, I shot it a few times. It ran off to the left up here. Hopefully it kept going.
know, maybe it ran up that way. He was scared. I'm not gonna slow down actually. I'm gonna look for prints or something, but I'm just gonna keep on going. minutes after the bear. Ten minutes maybe. I'm firmly of the belief that if you uh, see a bear, anyone who sees a bear becomes a southerner real quick trying to shoo something away. There's probably some science behind that. But don't quote me. Turned to like all maple. There's a lot of evergreens, and now it's all like aspen, birch, and maple out of nowhere. Wow. A sudden shift. Very cool. Go like this one, number three. Sweet. Here we got camp mostly set up. Just processing some firewood. Got the tent up, chair. Next, I am going to pump some water into the 10 liter just for camp uh, and to fill water bottles in the morning and then put out the fire that I will be having tonight as well and also for cooking so I'll uh, show you down by the river which is right next to my camp it's kind of cool
took everything out of my uh, bags so that I could move every all the food items into one and hang it from the tree tonight with some bears that get to it. And dinner is going to be tuna and mashed potatoes. sit here. I hope the smoke will keep the bugs away while I got this down. Picked up a little hot sauce. Mashed potatoes, hot sauce, and tuna. A good camp meal. And if I'm still hungry afterwards, which I probably won't be, I might make like a peanut butter tortilla. Probably gonna aim for fishing tomorrow. Hopefully, get into camp early to mid afternoon instead of like right before sunset. I get everything set up. I don't really want to try to learn how to tie the fly onto the end of the leader and do all that in the dark. So, I'm just gonna eat. Put my bag in a tree and 